Okay, so welcome to my channel. I am going to be uh, doing a um, manicure using some products that was in a haul. I'll link that haul in the uh, description box or it will be in the cards. Now, I'm not sure which one I wanted to use, so I was like going back and forth, um, but I did decide and it turned out to be that. So. Thank you guys for coming to watch my channel. I appreciate that you're here. If you're new, uh, thank you for jo dropping by and seeing my journey. And if you're returning, thank you so much for helping me grow my channel. Also, all of you, I appreciate you so, so much. Hope everybody is doing well and enjoying uh, life. Okay, so these are the nails that you're going to see me do. That was from a haul, a sheen haul that was um, that I posted a few days ago probably, hopefully, if that all works out the way I want. But, and then I'm I'm using these pigments uh, and we're going by the instructions on here. If you'd like to see how I ended up doing these, you gotta keep watching the video. Let's get started. Alrighty, I am back. Now, what we're doing is, um, I'm going to do some of these, uh, pigments. So uh, this is the pigment ones that were in my uh, haul. And then we have these little things. Uh, this was one of the um, magnetic holders for having some press-ons on there. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is follow the instructions on here. And the instructions is uh, basically says operation steps. And number one is after cleaning your nails and applying a primer and dry. So that's what this is doing right now is I put a primer on here. Base coat basically I guess is what a primer would be. And I'm going to put it in the lamp. So we'll do that. And then what we are, I showed these in the hall. Oh, and this is a Gelin uh, Strong Base. Base coat. So we have a bunch of different colors here, which I thought was really neat. We've got some greens and blues and pinks. Um, and I'm trying to decide. I kind of like the. Well, maybe I'll do the yellow and the or uh, that uh, peachy color. And the green or something. But let's. Uh, Oh, then it says after you've done the primer, um, primer and dried, and then uh, apply the color glue and light it for 40 seconds. It, it has the um, sticky layer still on there, so you don't want to like take that off there. And we, like I said, we're using, um, they don't have like colors on them. This is the color so uh, solid pigment. I just put the base color on there and then we're going to use these and then it says basically uh, so that's space mine's the base color apply the transparent seal and light for 10 seconds okay so transparent seal it sounds like it's your top coat so basically you would put your color and then you put your transparent um, at the top coat and I don't need to do that because I already put this on here. So okay. So it says pat. That's what it says. And we are going to do this color. Just get your thing in there. Really good. I am going to do it this way. I think I'm going to try to do an ombre. Let's do that. Oh yeah. So I'm just patting it down onto the sticky layer. Look at that. It's very pretty. And just so I just keep doing that all over like that. I 
make sure you get the sides. The edges of your nail. And then I'm going to do another color. And I'm gonna go with, I'm trying to decide which one. Let's try this green. So I'm just overlapping that color. So it's kind of like a ombre. Oh, that's pretty. So make sure you get everything there. And then I am going to let you guys listen to some music while I sit here and finish these. It looks like you can also not just tap it, you can kind of rub it in. It looks like I can do both. You know, that tacky layer on there, it works perfect for that. And then I'm going to do a So yeah, I'm just trying to blend it. I 
Okay, so now, clean that off. Put these away for a second. All right. So now what you need to do is take a brush, just like a fluffy brush, like that. And I'm just gonna go over it and try to clean any of it off. Any excess. Looks like I got the blue over there, but that's okay. they are. I think that's turning out really good. But what we need now is something on them. I'm going to use these bluish ones. on them, I need to put a um, top coat over them to seal them in. And before you put it back in there, you need to like wipe it off so that you're not contaminating your gel also. Let me go get these all painted and we will get them in the lamp and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So now I came up with some ideas. And we'll see how these turn out. I am just putting on a um, gel builder. Functional gel and it is just making everything so it's nice and um, where I can stick the gems to it. 3D nail art can be stuck to it. And I am not going to cure it yet. That's the other thing I'm not going to do. I wanted something for it to like you call it uh, sink into hold it on there that's basically what I'm doing here so, put that away I pulled out these beautiful um, little gems that was in the hall have some some fishes and a couple of we got some roses and we got some little fishes and then we've got like a um, 
jellyfish and there's a shell but I'm not sure about the shell yet so. all right we need a chew I'm gonna use their little thing but I have my own gym picker uh, this doesn't okay that worked okay so what we want to do is just do the middle one here I guess first like I said I'm just gonna attach it so it'll like stay on there um, because I used that builder gel Just kind of making sure it sets up there. And then I'm going to take my email couture flashy light lamp and just give it a, you know, like a, a little bit of a, hopefully keep it holding there before I cure the whole thing. Now you can use glue or you can um, do what I'm doing. I'm not sure this is actually the technical way to do it or the correct way. Um, this is how I'm doing it. All right, now I want to take, and I'm thinking something colorful because we're like really, um, we're tiny. These are very hard to do. So that one looks kind of oh, don't like them. really hard to work with. A couple things up in there. Let's go back to the bigger ones. I want it that side, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. You guys let me know. Is it supposed to be the that side or the other side? So I think that is the side you want. In. I'm not sure. Well, I probably want the flat side. Uh oh. Sorry, bringing it out of camera. Everything's falling off this stupid thing. Hmm. 
Hmm. I need to put a little bit more functional stuff on here. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to use the, what do you call it, little thing, little lamp. some gel on it. And we're going to throw that one in the lamp, see if it'll stay. Okay, so we used a couple of them. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back on. We are going to do the rest of this, hopefully. See if it stays. Because I'm like, not sure. And then I'm going to I can tell I'm very new at this. This is interesting. I don't know if I'm doing it right, wrong, or what here. Just going with the flow. Going with the flow. Okay, so now I'm going to put some. Right there. Something to just hold it on a little bit better. fish. Oops. Darn it. It's hard to work with gloves. Jeez. Very hard. Very, very, very hard. Okay. Now we need to do a Really cool jellyfish. Just flopped him on there.
think we're gonna use all of these so I can put the, some of them back. And put in fish. But I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna put any more flowers. Well, maybe. Now, there's that. Oops. I don't think that's the right one. This was this one. That's cool. There they are so far. There they are so far. Okay, now. Oh, where'd the fish go? There it goes. Let's see, I'm thinking where should I put the fish? Maybe I'll put him up here with the and make this one go up. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that it is as secure as I can get it. I'm gonna put that in the lamp. Okay, I think we're almost done that I'm gonna do, that I can think of at this moment. I'm not gonna put these on my nails, but While that's done, 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 done. All right. All right. So there is my iridescent type pigmented that we used. It was quite a bit. There's a lot of stuff. I think it turned out pretty cool. I will have the haul that is with this linked uh, in the um, in the cards down below or in the cards or I will have um, some stuff linked in the description box and that's where I put my affiliate codes and everything also uh, discount codes anything like that and I have like a list of stores that I like to use, do and stuff so look at that isn't that so cool that's so cute I think they turned out really, really well. So there we go. This is Spacey Tracy Nails. Oh, first off, before I go, thank you for coming and watching me. And uh, hopefully, uh, have you tried pigments? Do you like them? Is it something that uh, you've ever used and you need tips and tricks? Always can use that. So this is Spacey Tracy Nails, signing off. <laughs>